Hello, my name is Keisha. And my name is Mario. And we're from the Virginia Department of Health. Today, we're going to teach you how to recognize and respond to an opioid overdose emergency. We're also going to teach you how to use naloxone or Narcan. What are opioids? Opioids are a class of drugs that include heroin, synthetic opioids like fentanyl, and pain relievers that are available by prescription. When too many opioids overwhelm the body and brain, the brain cannot send signals to the body to continue to breathe. So breathing slows down and eventually stops. There are signs that will let you know when someone is having an overdose. The person may be unconscious or unresponsive. Their breathing may be slow or stopped. The person may feel cold or clammy to the touch. Their heart rate may be slow or non-existent. You may also notice their fingertips and lips may be turning bluish purple for lighter skin or gray or white with darker skin. Some may also make a deep snoring, choking, or gurgling sound. If someone is making unfamiliar sounds while sleeping, it is worth trying to wake them up. Many loved ones have missed a chance to step in on time and save a life because they believe that the person is asleep when they were actually overdosing. If you're not sure if someone is just sleeping, try shaking them gently or calling their name. You can also drag your knuckles against their chest bone. That feeling is really uncomfortable and usually wakes a sleeping person up. Throughout this video, you're gonna hear us say Narcan or Naloxone. Just know that they are the same thing. Naloxone is the generic name and Narcan is the brand name. Naloxone is a medication that is designed to reverse an opioid overdose emergency. Naloxone is an incredibly effective medical response to an opioid overdose emergency. It only works on opioids. It will not harm someone if they're not overdosing and you cannot become addicted. Naloxone blocks the opioid's effects on the body for a short time, 30 to 90 minutes. It allows the person to breathe again. Now, Let's learn how to use naloxone. Remove the naloxone from the box and peel back the package to remove the device. Hold the device with your thumb on the bottom of the plunger with your two fingers on the device. Place and hold the tip of the nozzle in either nostril until your fingers touch the bottom of the person's nose. Press the plunger and the dose is released into the person's nose. Now that you know how to use naloxone, let's talk about some other steps you should take during an overdose. When you see that someone is overdosing, the first thing you should do is call 911. Be very exact with your location. Let them know that you believe that the person may be overdosing. Let them know if the person is breathing or not. Also let them know that you are given or have given the naloxone. If you have to leave the person for any reason, please put them in the rescue position. If the person is not breathing, give them two rescue breaths. Place the person on their back, tilt their chin up to open the airway, plug or pinch their nose with one hand and give two even regular sized breaths. Blow enough air into their lungs to make their chest rise. If their chest does not rise, tilt the head back more and make sure you are plugging or pinching their nose. Now that you have all the tools, let's look at them in order. Here are the steps to respond to an overdose. First, check for responsiveness. Shout their name, tap their shoulder, or pinch their earlobe. Are they alert or answering? You can also give a sternum rub. That is when you make a fist and rake your knuckles hard up and down the front of the person's breastbone. Check for breathing. If they do not respond, call 911 and follow the dispatcher instructions. If the person is not breathing, give two rescue breaths. Then give the naloxone. If nothing changes after three minutes, give the second dose. If the person isn't breathing, give more rescue breaths or CPR, if you know how, or are instructed to do so by 911 until the person responds. If possible, stay with the person as long as you can or until help arrives. 
let the person know that they should not take any more opioids. If you must leave the person, place them on their side in the recovery position. Virginia has several laws or legal protections in overdose response. One is the Good Samaritan Law. This law states that any person who is in good faith gives Narcan to a person who is believed to be experiencing or about to have an opioid overdose shall not be held liable for civil damages for any personal injuries that may result while trying to give naloxone. The other law or legal protection is the safe reporting of overdoses. A person who calls for help for themselves or another person cannot be arrested or prosecuted for possession of a controlled substance, possession of marijuana, public intoxication, and possession of controlled paraphernalia. The person who calls must stay until help arrives. They must identify themselves by giving their name to law enforcement and any evidence may be taken. The only exception is if the call for help was made during the execution of a warrant or a lawful search or arrest. This immunity also applies to the person who overdosed. Side effects from naloxone use are very rare. If you do not know why the person is unconscious, naloxone will not cause any harm to the person. When side effects are reported, it's usually related to an acute opioid withdrawal. Naloxone will not reverse overdoses from other drugs, such as alcohol, benzodiazepines, cocaine, or amphetamines. You may not know which substance or substances cause the overdose, so you should always give Narcan after calling 911 just in case the person has overdosed from opioids. You cannot become addicted to Narcan and the same dose can be used for adults or children. Thank you for taking the time to learn how to save a life using naloxone. Visit rhhd.gov or call 804-592-8069 for more information.